Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 16. In the 17th year of Pikach, the son of Yomar Yahu, Ahaz, the son of Yotham, king of Yahuda, began to reign. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Yerushalayim, and did not that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheyu, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Yashadael, yea, and made at his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen, whom Yahuwah cast out from before the children of Yashadael. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. The Resin king of Aram and Pichach, son of Remel Yahu, king of Yashadael, came up to Yerushalayim to war. And they besieged Ahaz, but could not overcome him. At that time, Retzim, rather Retzin, king of Aram, recovered Elath to Aram, and drove at the Yahudim from Elath, and the Ararimim came to Elath and dwelt there unto this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to Gilath, to rather to Tiglath, Pil Iser, king of Ashur, saying, I am your servant and your son. Come up and save me out of the hand of the king of Aram and out of the hand of the king of Yashadael, which rise up against me. And Ahaz took at the silver and at the gold that was found in the house of Yahuwah and in the treasures of the king's house and sent it for a present to the king of Ashur. And the king of Ashur hearkened unto him, for the king of Ashur went up against Damascus and took it, and carried the people of it captive to Kir, and slew Ethretzin. And King Ahaz went to Damascus to meet Tiglath, Pileser, king of Ashur, and saw an altar that was at Damascus. And King Ahaz sent to Uriahu, the priest, at the fashion of the altar, and at the pattern of it, according to all the workmanship thereof. And Uriahu the priest built at an altar according to all that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. So Uriahu the priest made it against King Ahaz came from Damascus. And when the king was come from Damascus, the king saw at the altar, and the king approached to the altar, and offered thereon. And he burnt at his burnt offering, and at his meat offering, and poured at his drink offering, and sprinkled at the blood of his peace offerings upon the altar. And he brought also at the brazen altar, which was before Yahuwah, from the forefront of the house, from between the altar and the house of Yahuwah, and put it on the north side of the altar. And King Ahaz commanded Eth Yuriyahu the priest, saying, Upon the great altar burn Eth the morning burnt offering, and Eth the evening meat offering, and Eth the king's burnt sacrifice, and Eth his meat offering, with Eth the burnt offering of all the people of the land, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings, and sprinkle upon it all the blood of the burnt offering, and all the blood of the sacrifice. And the brazen altar shall be for me to inquire by. Thus did Eth Yeriyahu the priest, according to all that King Ahaz commanded. And King Ahaz cut off Eth the borders of the bases, and removed Eth the lever, rather the laver from off them, and took down at the sea from off the brazen oxen that were under it, and put it upon a pavement of stones, and at the covert for the Shabbat 
that they had built in the house and at the king's entry without, turned he from the house of Yahuwah for the king of Ashur. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaz which he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the chronicles of the kings of Yahudah? And Ahaz slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Yahiz ki Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead.